Geekson. I'm here with my beautiful, lovely, intelligent, smart wife. Hey. <laughs> that's Shauna. And uh, that's Uncle Tim. So. Uh, <laughs> I had a big to go on with. I guess she was in the video. I said, man, look, don't be calling me all them names, man. Come on. I ain't into that. But you know what? Before we even go into this video, I got to make sure I say this. Y'all look really. Man, y'all look like a postcard or something. Oh. <laughs> But I'm going to say this, though. You supposed to let me know that the video started. Damn, come on, man. You didn't, didn't even say Command Shift 5. Brother, you heard me. You heard me. I, was, I thought, okay. I thought mm -hmm. he did say it. Yeah, I did say it. He, he, he messing around. Oh. <laughs> but anyway, Kisa? Yeah, with that, we, we want to talk about a special topic that's deep, deep in our hearts, y'all. We need y'all to open your hearts up. And we want to ask y'all, why in the hell y'all don't listen to married people about relationships? Hell, we in a relationship for life. But y'all don't want to listen. Y'all want to be single as hell out there for no goddamn and bitter, reason. Hate no married Just people. bitter, bitter as hell. Bitter as old lemon. Oh, Just hold on. bitter. You're oh, bitter. Do you hear this? He cussing. He cussing. Dude normally don't cuss. I I, I, well, I haven't ever heard him cuss. But you with, know, it well, sounds funny coming out of his mouth. But, with that, but I want to understand, uh, Mr. Levert, why do you got on these sunglasses right now? This is kind of a topic that we really need to discuss. First of all, um, a brother's just trying to be reserved. When you were a woman this beautiful, when a woman's this beautiful, her shine is so bright <laughs> that you got to put on sunglasses because when she brother, looks this, when you she looks good this with good, words. They don't lie, man. Come good, on. You, you got to put on sunglasses because, wow. So this is what this is what we gonna do, and uh, we gonna do this one a little different today. Shauna's gonna lead us off. Oh. Okay. Because I don't trust me. I don't know how to really approach this, my damn self. You know. You sure? Oh, he's he had a mouthful, but um. I think too many people play with marriage, so don't nobody really take it seriously. Like they, that's why people don't want to listen to married people because they see all a lot of married people put all their business out on social media, or they go run and tell everybody what they're doing, or they're not. They don't even have their own standards in their own marriage, right? About what they want to do, and so people see people step men stepping out, women stepping out, playing around with marriage, or they get married. And three years later, they're divorced. It's like, why would I even listen to you if you ain't got your stuff together? Mm -hmm. And then there's always going to be that envious and jealousy component factor where your friends, they don't want to listen to you because they know that they're going to be forced to be accountable for their own mess. Because if they see you carrying yourself is what they aspire to be like in a wife or a husband, and they know they lack, and then that means they got to be responsible for why they can't keep somebody. So. Mm -hmm. Now, look, I'm, I'm going to say this. Get what you said. I got everything you said. But for our audience, a lot of them, you got to dumb that down just a little bit. Dumb it down. Well, maybe they need to smarten up. Ooh. I mean, I'm serious. We are grown. We grown. This is grown person to talk like. I should have, I'm not done. I don't have to water it down that much for you to get it. If you're watching this and you don't get it, that's on you. You need to go do with your own. Because a lot of our audience can't read, so. Well, if you're a certain age, you can't look, read. Look here. Look, look. here. I'm, he's confusing it. A lot of his audience <laughs> sure. can't read. My audience. If they can't get what I'm true. saying, then that's the prime example of why they don't want to listen to married people. That mm -hmm. right there. But yeah, I think like, well, if you no, I'm not dumbing it down. I think I made myself clear. Y'all can dumb right. it down. <laughs> All right. Uncle Tim, what what would you say? Why don't single people listen to married people when it comes to relationships? Well, because a lot of married people don't get it right themselves, man. You know, to play on what Rashana I mean, what Shana said. And I'm going to just be honest here. A lot of times people don't understand that marriage is hard work. It's not easy. If you're going to go into a marriage thinking that everything is going to be textbook and story, you know, happily ever after shit, you in for a rude awakening. Hell, marriage is so much work that you be sitting there some days like, I don't know about this, I don't know about this, I don't know about this, because that's how you're feeling. You're human. But to these young people out here, marriage is not a thing that I even think they think about. A lot of them out here twerking off. Hell, I was in, <laughs> I was on a bus one day. Hell, she just jumped at the car and started twerking. I said, is that something new? 
So I'm sitting here thinking, I said, this is not something on these young people. Man, these young people out here, they living for the day. And a lot of them, I hate to say it, some of them are not wife material at this moment. Hmm. I mean, wife potential, but like, okay, go ahead. <laughs> I know it's going to come to this. Oh, y'all been waiting. I knew it was going to come. I knew it was going to come. I'm still not taking the glasses off. That woman's too beautiful for me to take these glasses off. Okay, I shine as bright. Look at that smile. All right. Now, let me let me say this. The reason that a lot of these single people don't listen to married people is because they lonely and bitter as hell. Okay? And they want somebody to be lonely and bitter with their lonely and bitter asses. If you're lonely by your damn self, don't, don't y'all want to be lonely with me? I want somebody to go to the bar because I'm lonely. I need somebody to go to my, the bar with my lonely ass because I'm lonely and I need some lonely ass <laughs> friends. I know a lot of people like that. I hate to say it. I know a lot of people like that. And then they want you. They want to drag you in their mess. Right. But then here's the other thing. Well, you you know what? You like, look, I'm tired of my marriage. I'm going to be single. And then what happened? They get married and be like, you stupid as hell. What you out there? You lonely as hell, girl. I'm, I got to go home to my husband. <laughs> I don't know what the hell you doing, but good luck, lonely bit of bitch. I'm out. <laughs> that is so true. Yeah. They convince you to get out of it. Then all of a sudden they get married and be like, look, I'm out of here. You know? And then Uncle Tanner and ba they will say, well, what happened is my husband or wife isn't a fan of me hanging out with single people like that. So... When you find somebody, you can call me and we can be friends again. You like I was in, I was already married. I was trying to be single with you. Well, that was your problem. Huh. You stupid. Oh. Go ahead. I'm gonna say all the talk you at your marriage and end up marrying your man. <laughs> Either oh. one. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, baby. Let me let me that's, quote that. That has a whole other video. Hey, no, no, I'm gonna quote Bobby Womack. I'm about quote you. Gotta listen to Bobby Womack in the song. He said. He said, you know what? Your friends are always telling you about what he, what you ain't got and what you need. But did you ever think that your friend was trying to get up with me? Mm -hmm. You better think it over. And look, Danny repeat, he said, you better think it over. Okay. So I'm telling you, you better think it over. You think you're lonely now. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Go ahead, baby. Go ahead. Let me. Spit some more knowledge for him, baby. I mean, the example you chose is bad because of sleep with Sam because why? But I mean, but... That's all I have to say. <laughs> I was not the best example. Wait, 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 what you say? I said it wasn't a great example because he Look, they don't know that history. With Sam Cook's wife after he died, they ended up dating. I know, I that's know. Like, <laughs> but, but that ain't had nothing to do with the song. But I mean, I'm just saying. If, if Sam wasn't out there cheating, his wife wouldn't have been open. You know, but look, we ain't going to get into that, okay? That, that's Sam. Sam gone, Bobby gone. <laughs> wait, wait, but see, that's the thing, though. See, what a lot of this. You don't know where to take it because a lot of times, a lot of your single friends and a lot of them, man, if I was you, I wouldn't put up with that. Mm -hmm. I hear a lot of that from my single friends and I'm like, man, look, don't whisper in my ear. I don't need no motherfucker whispering in my ear because I'm a grown man. Whatever you got going over there, keep it over there. You know, if you unhappy and shit, you over in the corner moping, crying. I'm like, dude, this is the third day I see you. <laughs> yeah, man, shit going on. I'm like, again? How many times can shit be going on in one week? Like, Well, I, th I think the issue is bigger. And the issue is a lot of people think marriage is the end. Mm -hmm. I, done, I done did all this time. Mm -hmm. I done put all this time. I done got a ring, girl. I done, I'm getting married. It's a $100,000 wedding. It's over. Life is easy. No. That's the preseason. <laughs> the real season is when you get married because now you got to stay with this crazy motherfucker you've been with. <laughs> you you got to wake up to the farts in the middle of the night and be like, just take it, just take it, just take it, take it. You love them, take it. But you didn't know women farted. You didn't know. You didn't oh, know. You, oh, you're talking about now me? Now you know. Me? You know okay, now. Okay. You know. You know. <laughs> me. You're not going to go there. That's a whole other video. Hey, I started off by saying, take it. Take it. Look, I'm married now. I ain't got a whole new job. You married oh, love it. With 
that you are very <laughs> dangerous. The hell you gonna kill me? What's wrong with you? You own a you own ten. But man, I gotta say this though. One thing people don't realize, and, and um, you both hinted at it, is like once you get married, the things that you did to get her and the things she did to get you, y'all gotta keep that going. You just can't stop. Like, oh, I got him now. You know, that's it. I'm going to just go lay down now. No. If you kept yourself up during a uh, courting process, you should keep yourself up during a marriage. If you give up on yourself, hell. Come on, man. Like, no, no, but, go, 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 on, go on, tell them, because I, I see where it's going, but I want you to go there, baby. So, no, I'm, I'm, hold on, hold on. I'm about a, to give you the alley-oop, baby. But he just said, it. he what just is, said. You got to keep yourself up during the marriage. I know you told me a lot of story. lazy love, hey, lot of here lazy go, wives. Here go you, baby. Here go that you. A lot of lazy wives that get complacent and they blame it on the kid. The kid's 15 years old and the baby fat is gone. <laughs> and you keep making these sorry excuses for why you're not either in the gym or working on yourself mentally and you still being, you acting like you're single, but you've been married for X amount of years and not showing any type of love to your husband in any way. You still have to put that effort in. It's not just, you don't just go to work from nine to five and your job is done when you're married. You still have to put on for that person that you're with. And a lot of people, period, across the board are just lazy. They want to get everything out of a relationship and don't want to put anything in it. And that's what I was saying earlier. People don't want to listen to married people because they know they got to put in some work that they don't want to put in. And they be in denial. It's been plenty of women I've talked to that are single now and they'll say, I want a man of this certain stats. I'm like, well, you may want to change your ways and do this or that. Well, no, I don't want to do that. Somebody going to love me for me. Yes, yeah, somebody, but not the person level you want. Up, at least. They don't want to level People don't want to level up. They want to get everything out of the deal and want to put nothing into it. And that's and when you look at married people that have their stuff together, it takes work. We've been married for almost 11 years. We didn't start out like this. It took a lot of trials and tribulations throughout the marriage for I us to grow. I started then, out like this. Yeah, so, uh, you know, it took a lot of trials and tribulations throughout the process to, to get to this point. You know, some of us took a lot longer than others, but nonetheless, you know, we got well, to... Well, that good. I take off these damn glasses now. Look at that shine. That shine don't whoa, whoa. The motion you taking hits. Hey, oh. I got two points to make in this video because y'all got me going here. First... Guys get complacent, comfortable, and lazy as hell. We get so comfortable and lazy. We don't give compliments. We don't open doors. You know, we don't walk the woman out to the car. We don't do too much of nothing. It's just like, yeah, man, now, you know, that's about it. I'm going to sit here and, you know, do it. No, you still got to do all that stuff to keep her. Just like she got to do all that stuff to keep you. And second, I hate this shit most of all. Not you. A lot of women that I know have a baby, and everything comes about the baby. You forget you even married or in a relationship. You forget that other person at all. My friend, story time, she had a baby. Mm -hmm. And she had a baby, and, you know, she was going to Boy Scouts and all of this other stuff, you know, these camp things. I mean, you forget she had a damn husband. So, you know, all the way through, this boy turned 18 years old. Husband asked for a damn divorce. And she didn't understand why. Hell, he didn't even know who the hell she was. I was confused. I'm like, damn, you forgot you had a husband? Well, you know, hey, you know, the kid needed a mom. And I said he had a dad, too. <laughs> you just forgot you had a husband. Hmm. You got to carve out. It's not about the quantity. It's about the quality, like. Before quarantine, we knew we had busy schedules. We had to be parents, but we took out two months out of what? Two months out of the month to do date two, night. Two, two weeks. Oh Lord Jesus! <clears throat> Y'all know what I mean. Two months out the month. <laughs> two, two that days shine, out the that month. shine is going down and down, y'all. But you still here. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, you have, to, you have to carve out time for date night and to keep dating each other. You don't have to be around each other every single minute, but you have to make time that. You, Take advantage of the time that you have and make it memorable and be each other's peace. So. For me, the one thing that I need to highlight to y'all, because y'all got to hear it. No, nah, they got to hear it. I ain't going to, I ain't going to, I ain't going to scream it. I'm going to be cool with it. Is bespoke, custom. Now, you know what? Yeah. <laughs> no, no, listen, I'm going to say it. Custom. Understanding. It's not a one marriage fits all. Yeah, that's and true. a lot of y'all think this marriage, this marriage stuff is what you see on TV. 
what that man and his wife do is between him and his wife. Mm -hmm. What me and my wife do is what me and my wife do. It's custom to us. What may be comfortable and normal to us, they may be like, ain't no way in hell I would do that. Mm -hmm. But guess what? This is what works for us. This is but, our custom marriage. This is the way we interact. This is the way we talk to each other. This is the way we go about it. And if you try to go like us, oh, this ain't going to work for you. Or that may just not, you know, sometimes people think they can come in and take Shauna and be like, okay, it's going to be just like it was with her and him. You know, instead of people putting in the work, they try to take what you got and say, oh, okay, it's going to work now. No. Again, different people bring out different traits in a person. And let me let me say this. For some of y'all who be like, well, people get divorced. Some of y'all are in social media marriages, okay? Because if I see one more hashtag relationship goals, and then you be like, but that didn't work. Well, and Jada, that didn't work. You found out she was entangled. And he was, he was doing some tangling. So with that, understand though. But, but here's the difference between their marriage and your marriage or your situation. That man sat there, he took it, and guess what? They still got damn married because they understood what works for them. That may not work for you because you got your high standards. Well, if somebody cheat on me, I would never. Well, like, like she said, we can be mad at each other. He on that side of the house. I'm on this side of the damn house, but we still married. But understand, it's different levels. They can do that. You probably can't. You can't do that making minimum wage and he making minimum wage. <laughs> it ain't nowhere on the damn house for y'all to go. Okay? <laughs> you on one side of the living room. He in the bathroom because y'all live in the studio. It ain't nowhere for y'all to go. You got to understand his levels to this marriage. Okay? They got yeah. hot different sides of the, the mansion they can go to and be alone. <laughs> Your ass you know, can't go that in the studio. I'm going to say this. She brings out the other part of you. Because I can see now, this part of you, man, this guy here is entertaining. It's just like the other guy. You know, well, you know, the weather's going to be 75 degrees in Arizona. <laughs> you know, like, but now look at you. You do, got on your shades, boy. Look at you. But, you know, the playoff of what both of y'all say, <clears throat> at the end of the day, it's a lot of damn hard work. And each day, I find it harder and harder sometimes, you know, just to realize, like, where I came from and where I'm at now. Because where I came from in the beginning of something else <laughs> to where I'm at now, I have to look at, oh, hell no. What was that? Like, but I digress. <laughs> Mr. Kiesel, Shauna. All right. Shauna, would you like to have your last word? No, I'll let you go ahead. Uncle Tim, would you like to have your last word? I want you to do this because I got to hear this one. So here's my last word. Yo, bitter, lonely ass <laughs> need to listen to somebody who winning. You ain't winning. <laughs> you ain't got a championship ring. Your ass bitter. You you over there su ring. You're sucking on lemons over there sharing. <laughs> you sharing a man. Tell me, I ain't never been in a throuple. You've been in a throuple for the last 10 years. You only see your man on Thursdays, Sundays, and Tuesdays. And at night, after 12 to 1, that's your man. The other time, he was somebody else. Shut up. Shut up. Listen to somebody who got somebody to commit to them for life. Well, maybe 50% in the divorce. Okay, 50% of them don't. So listen to that 50%. I thought you was going to say 50% of minimum wage. I was like, well, you know, you be going hard. <laughs> I had to make me stop seeing my wife no, shine. Get back to my wife shine. With that, Big Keeson is out. Oh, <laughs> man, God. I, I have to give you credit on this one, boy. This was just A1. We out. Peace. <laughs>